Welcome to the I Am Worthy podcast, where we don't believe in choosing between this or that, but instead we are worthy of it all. I am your host, Brittany Noel, and despite being a licensed therapist, I know better than anybody what it's like to struggle with the doubt and fears behind the pursuit of your success in life, love, and your purpose. So join me as I uncover the secrets to becoming unapologetically worthy so that you can have, do, and be all things. Welcome back to the I Am Worthy podcast. I am your host, Brittany Noel, and you guys know by now we are here to have some very courageous conversations about what it means to be worthy so that we can have, do, and be all things. And today's edition is gonna be a little different. I want us to do some work today. So if you haven't already, make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel, the YouTube channel, our Instagram. Uh, I want you guys to be able to follow us on all of our platforms so that you can get notified every time we post a new video. So today's episode is going to be an affirmation edition. And this is where I really challenge you guys to think about the ways in which you talk to yourself, you speak to yourself, and most importantly, you respond. So on the affirmation editions, I'm going to give you some of my favorite affirmations that I use that help me level up in every area of my life. Every time I want to shrink, every time I want to run away, every time I'm afraid, every time I don't want to be all that I'm called to be, I have to have affirmations that help me reprogram my mind and remind me that I'm dope. <laughs> okay? I deserve the things that I want in my life. And sometimes we need that new language to combat the negative thoughts, the negative thinking patterns that we're stuck in so that we can execute in greatness and not in fear. So today's affirmation that I want to give you is I am all things. I am everything. I use this affirmation anytime that I feel like I am not enough. I use this affirmation anytime I feel like I have done something in my past that disqualifies me for the thing that's sitting in front of me, whatever that great opportunity is. Think about every time you wanted to take advantage of an opportunity, whether it's a new relationship, it's the new job, it's the promotion, it's the new car, it's something great sitting in front of you. And then there's this thought that comes out and says, well, you may mess it up because you know what you did last time. You know it didn't work out last time. You know you, you, you weren't able to handle it last time. And so as those negative thoughts come up to remind you of everything that you are not, I use the affirmation, I am all things to remind me that yes, I made the mistake. <laughs> yes, I may have gotten it wrong. Yes, I may have, have done something that was outside of my character, but I'm also very good. I'm also still qualified. I'm also still competent. I am all things reminds me that I am human. I am allowed to have a duality to me. I'm not all good, I'm not all Christian, I'm not all bad, I'm not all ratchet. <laughs> that there's a duality to me and I'm allowed to be both. When you truly learn to love yourself into a full place of wholeness, you will realize that I can't just love the great parts about me, that there are some other parts about me that I'm still working on, but those parts also don't disqualify me from what I want in my life. So the next time that you guys are facing up against a great opportunity that you're unsure about and you're trying to judge whether or not you're worthy of it, you're trying to judge whether or not you can handle it, you're trying to judge whether or not you may botch it up like you did last time, I need you to use the affirmation, I am all things. Yes, I did that thing. Yes, I messed up, but I'm also great. I'm also competent. I'm also capable. I'm also talented. I'm also gifted. I am all things. I'm allowed to be all things. As we continue to progress into 2021 and we continue to bloom into everything that we are, I want you to really catch hold of the idea that you are more than just one thing. You are not just a speaker. You are not just a teacher. You are not just a mother. You are not just a wife. There are multiple parts of who you are. There's so much more to you that you have yet to discover. So I am all things gives me permission to go and discover everything that I am. I don't have to be committed to the story that I've told myself about who I am. That at any given point, I get to grow into something else. I get to evolve into the next version of who I am. And it may not look like what I've looked like for the last 10 years. And that's okay, because I'm all things. 
So if you have a pen and a paper, I want you to take it out, write down, I am all things, and put it somewhere where you can see it every day. Put it somewhere where you will see it when you wake up. Put it somewhere where you'll see it when you go to bed. Put it somewhere where you'll see it in the middle of the day when you are doubting yourself. Until our next affirmation video, I want you to keep repeating that I am all things. I am all things. I am all things. I don't have to choose. I am all things. That was another episode of the I Am Worthy podcast. If you like what you heard, please comment below and tell me how this content is helping you. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I am so happy to be with you on this journey as we are all becoming more of ourselves in every area of our lives. Until our next episode, I will catch you guys later.